All right, it's Monday. It's a little bit later than usual because the time change, of course, and these two ended up winning their playoff game. So we're in the championship this Saturday. Let's go, team. But first, more importantly, let's go get crumble cookies. Woohoo! Yeah. Let's go. Got the crumble cookies. Now we got to go home and try them out. All right, first cookie on the list this week is Boston Cream Pie. This is a buttery pie cookie topped with a tasty vanilla pastry cream and a rich chocolate ganache on top. Second cookie for the week this week is a chocolate cookies and cream. This is a chocolate cookie packed with cookies and cream pieces and tons of creamy white chips. Next on our list this week is the confetti cake cookie. This is a confetti sprinkled sugar cookie topped with a pink vanilla cream cheese frosting. Next on our list is the salted caramel cheesecake cookie. This is a graham cracker cookie topped with cheesecake frosting, caramel, and sea salt. We got two just because you know it's my flavor. Last on our list this week is the chocolate Swiss roll. It's a warm cookie, chocolate cookie I should say, topped with a chocolate glaze and a delightful swirl of marshmallow frosting. All right, first one for this week. Which one do you, you want to try? Let's get the confetti with the sprinkles out of the way. Yeah, I think that'll probably be just a basic sugar cookie with icing and little doodads. They're called sprinkles. It's a doodad, I don't They're know. They're called sprinkles. The yeah, sprinkles, little sugar jimmies, cookies. all that kind of stuff. Who knows? It's a good sugar cookie. They're always good sugar cookies. They're mm -hmm. soft. They have a good texture to the bottom. Well, lots of flavor. I like how it has like the stuff mixed in with the actual cookie itself. It gives it a little bit of extra flavor. It's good. It's actually a lot better than what I thought it would be. I mean, it is. It's a really good sugar cookie, and it's very colorful. If you had a birthday party this week, this would be the cookie to get. Yes, sadly, no birthdays no this birthday week. No birthdays this week. No, not at all. Oh, well. On to cookie two. Which one do you want to try now? Well, I picked the sugar cookie, so you pick the next one. Let's go. We have, like, three that are, like, kind of chocolatey, so let's get one out let's of the way. Let's do a chocolate one, then. Let's go Boston cream pie. That's like my favorite. I don't know. Someone was moving over here. What are you doing, Fig? I love Boston cream pies. And I love how it's the pie. I told you before, I love how they do the pie cookies. I mean, this is a chilled cookie, so it is a little cold. It's like the Boston cream, the cream to it. What do they call it? The vanilla pastry cream. Like it oozes, so it looks really good. And that chocolate ganache on top. It's kind of just like a Boston cream. I would have probably preferred it to be like a true Boston cream to where it like oozes over the top sometimes when you see those. That's probably what I would have liked. What's the other this cookie actually taste? Mm, I get that chocolate ganache like, oh yeah. That was good. And some on your finger. Mm. The vanilla. I love the pastry team and I love the chocolate ganache on that. That's really good. I like those two. I'm not a fan of the cookie. Like the actual cookie base, it just seems very. Oh, uh, it's very supposed to plain. be like the yellow cake because that's what a Boston cream is. It's just yellow yeah. cake. Well, then why not have a yellow cake cookie? I don't know. Because, like, I think the, the cookie in the confetti cake cookie had more flavor than this cookie. I, I would want some sort of flavor in this one. Because like, they I, were trying to go for, like, a pie. I understand that, but who out there, honestly, is sitting there just eating a pie crust by themselves going, Man, this is good pie crust. No one is doing that. I don't know if it was one of those Oreo pre-done crusts, maybe. That's what I'm talking about. Let's have this guy here as the crust and then the topping. That would make more sense. I don't know if that's a Boston cream anymore. Well, we might have to see. After we taste I that loved, one, I might do way, a combo. I loved the chocolate in that. That was super yummy. The it ganache was, was great. I loved it with the vanilla pastry cream, which is different. It's not an icing. It's not right. a... That was different. That was it was a pastry good. cream. It was really good. Good vanilla taste, not herpy sweet. <laughs> and again, I love the use of the scalloped pie crust that goes around. So...
Not a bad cookie. It's a good cookie for me. Cookie number three. What one do you want to do? Uh, let's <laughs> do the chocolate cookies and cream. Okay, that works. I'm excited about this one. It's super soft. And ooh, it's like. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. It's what is it? Chocolate, white chocolate chips. It's like super, like, it still looks very moist. Oh, yeah, that's fuzzy. That's a good cookie. Mm. That's a really good cookie. Well, they got the chocolate part right. Mm, that you is know, good. Now, I know I always say it'll do better with icing. That one's good just by itself. Very good. However, like I said, I want to see if that one as the base with that with the topping would be better. So let's try this out. You mean with the Boston cream? Yes. <clears throat> so that is the base. Are you just going to scoop it onto it? There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Makes both better. I would recommend eating it that way. That's incredible. The chocolate cookies and cream was a good cookie for me. I loved it. It was super soft. I mean, definitely have a glass of milk nearby if you're eating that cookie. That's one we of do. those. That's one of those. Yes, we have our milk nearby, so we're saving for our chocolate cookie for the end. But it's super soft. It's got that right texture of crunch to it on the bottom, where it's just slightly over. Super soft. I would definitely eat that immediately as soon as you get it. It was a yummy cookie. The Oreo toppings are still crunchy on the top, so it's not like they're super soft. Um, all in all, it was a good cookie. And it was like, it almost tasted like a dark chocolate to me. That one's just it good. Was good. I mean, as far as like quality of cookies go, that one is a great cookie. That, that one's up there. I really I like that, that one cookie. a lot. It was good. All right, salt to caramel now. I've said before, I like runny caramel, like with a caramello. Uh, my, my wife, as she was cutting these, says, Oh, you're not going to like this caramel. It's the chewy caramel like Rolo. Uh, I don't like caramel that sticks in the teeth. I like caramel that just tastes really good. So we'll see how this one but goes. But the saving grace to this is it does have a cheesecake frosting, and it is a graham cracker cookie. So I'm going to try the bottom of the cookie first. I'm going to eat it all together. Cheers. Just to get the bottom of the cookie. Mm. Yeah, I do it on. The graham cracker cookie is really good because I wanted to try it just with the graham cracker. And that was really good. Cheesecake. Cheesecake frosting is cheesecake frosting. So let's try them all together. Yup, chewy caramel. I'm a fan of salted caramel, but unfortunately this just missed the mark. <clears throat> it... Like, if you get those little cubes of caramel and you put it on there and you melt it, that's what this is. The, the cubes of caramel are, they're horrible because they get stuck in your teeth. They cause cavities. That's not a good thing. They do because, like, say you're one of the people that doesn't like to brush your teeth. That thing gets <laughs> stuck right there and then it, it just, it roots in there and now root canal. That's not good. So let's go with caramel or caramel next time. Let's get something that's a little bit oozy. Salt that baby up. Salt with the cheesecake, and that would be so much better. I think the purpose so of the this. thicker caramel is <coughs> to where it could hold its texture with the cream cheese. I think. I am not a baker for them. So I'm just assuming that's why they went with the thicker caramel instead of maybe like a drizzle. Because we have seen cookies that have had the drizzle of caramel <coughs> on top. So we've seen them. Maybe that was what their bakers were going for. They wanted a thicker caramel to go with this because you have the very um, soft cookie. I mean, don't get me wrong. The cookie was very good. The graham cracker cookie was good, and it's soft. The cheesecake frosting is soft. So I think they were trying to go for something different with the chewy caramel. Maybe. Um, I think it's just cost effectiveness. Mm -hmm. By bulk, it probably costs cheaper to buy little square cubes of caramel than it does yummy caramel sauce i don't know um I, I just i'm not a fan of that kind of caramel i i like more liquidy caramel but see give me a caramel apple any day and i'm a happy girl yeah this is the caramel that you need with that kind of flavor not with salted caramel cheesecake like when i go to um cheesecake factory if i get the, the salted caramel cheesecake it's not this kind of caramel because you'd be sitting there the whole time it's gooey caramel 
That's what we need. Gooey caramel. Last one for this week. Chocolate Swiss roll. I know, I'm looking forward to this I know when we had the uh, oatmeal cream pie a couple of weeks ago, the, the Malo sandwich, we were saying, hey, we need to have more Little Debbie flavors because everyone knows that's what this is. This is a chocolate what Swiss roll. What are some other roll. Little Debbies? We should uh, have a zebra. No. Nutter Cosmic butter. Cosmic cupcake. Nutter butter. Wait, wait, no, no. It's the Cosmic Rice Krispie, isn't it? No, that's, that's Star Crunch. Whatever. It has Rice Krispies in it. We need to have that one. Because didn't they do a Rice Krispie one before? What if they did it with the chocolate Rice Krispies? I'm not a fan of Rice Krispie treats. I mean, like, remember a while ago where they did the Rice Krispie cookie, which it wasn't a cookie, it was just a Rice Krispie treat in a circle? Now we can do a chocolate one and add an icing to it. No. It, but I love no. it when they do the Little Debbies. Yes. Isn't there a peanut butter crunch out there somewhere? N nutter butter. Nutter butter. Let's do a nutter butter. That would no, be but there was uh, one that was, it came in like the sticks. I like fudge round and I like nutter butter. Ooh, Those a fudge two, round that would, would be, be awesome. awesome. I mean, I already did an oatmeal cream pie. Yeah, but they made it better. That, that was one was good. I'd eat that over at Little Debbie any day. But no, the other one, it's like a long, like, log and it's like covered in chocolate and it's got a hard texture to the inside and then peanut butter's on the inside. I'm not going nuts here. No, are, are you talking about the one that has, I don't know its name. has like the waffle texture on the outside? That's the Nutter Butter. No, are you, are you looking at the one butter. that looks like a half moon? Yes. Like, that's the peanut butter crunch. Okay. But that one's horrible. That tastes like awful. Well, compared well. to Nutter Butter. All right. Chocolate Swiss, Swiss roll. roll. Check. And I'm looking forward to the chocolate ganache. Oh, this is like a brownie. Mmm. Oh, that's a good brownie. Mmm. Ooh. That one's tough. I'm sorry, I have to go for the milk now. Two for two on the Little Debbie fixture. Um, this chocolate Swiss roll I would eat all day, every day oh over the gosh. Little Debbie chocolate Swiss roll. The Grumble Cookie makes Sorry, them, Little Debbie. <laughs> their, their cookie's better. Just um, that that cookie is soft. There mm -hmm. is chocolate. The ganache on top just enhances the chocolate cookie. It's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. The white um, frosting on top to make it look like a Swiss roll. The marshmallow topping. Oh my gosh, That's that good. was insanely good. Um, that is by far like a 10 out of 10 cookie. I, I know which one's my favorite cookie for the week. So Well, that's why we have everyone try it and we deliberate so we can be beautiful. Because we have the chocolate one, it is definitely time for the milk. You said you had to sip? I did. I had to sip mine while I was eating my chocolate cookie. Oh, here we so, go. So, I already ate my chocolate cookie. But, I mean, I guess I could always, like, take another bite and we'll look. Ooh. Ooh, I like that part of the cookie. That part of the cookie was crunchy. Mmm. Ooh, I like that part of the cookie. Down the hatch. That was good. The outside of mine was kind of crunchy. I like that. The inside was soft, but the outside was crunchy. Hey, it's all good. Now, so if you are a person that likes a crunchy cookie, you're going to win with that one. I think so. But now it's time for deliberation, and we will get back with you. All right, boys, we have five to try this week, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's try the confetti cake. I love confetti. It all came. They got the nice little sprinkles. Mmm. Soft cookie. Nice icing. Good. Mm -hmm. Very delicious. You get the nice sugar cookie with the pink icing like it's a birthday cake. And inside the cookie, you get the little sprinkles on top of it, the little circle sprinkles. And you get a little pop in flavor. Excellent. Let's go with. The salted caramel cheesecake. Ooh. Yeah. Mmm. That's good. I need a caramel cheesecake. That's good. The cookie. And a little bit of crusty outside to the, to the back of it. Uh, the icing is very soft, and the caramel is that gooey, very hard to break um, caramel. It's, it's like a hard caramel, but it's like a caramel like in caramellos and stuff like that. That's so good. That's honestly very good, because the caramel tastes kind of gummy. 
Like the flavor, you get that ice. Um, if you take flavor, then you get the caramel flavor. That's delicious. All right, let's go with chocolate Swiss roll. I don't even know what a chocolate. This one kind of reminds me of Christmas time for this. No, it's like a little Debbie chocolate oh, yeah. Swiss roll. So, I'm not one of those. Mmm. That's good. Mm. The chocolate with the no icing. Chocolate cookie. Low be icing. Very good. This is a chocolate cookie as well. Um, what on the other side? I know. Tastes like a ch um. Tastes like a low Debbie um Swiss roll, but it makes it even but it's even better. And it's in a cookie form. So it's amazing. Alright, Boston cream pie. I like Boston cream pie. And you got that nice little outer edge of like where most of the pies are. The cookie is soft. The icing is a good cream. The chocolate is very good. It's good cooking. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I don't know if that chocolate on top of it is like dry, I'm um, like, um, hardened, but it does make it, if you get that, that chocolatey flavor, then you get that nice, right now, uh, sponge cookie, and then a little, like, whipped cream. Good. Alright, last but not least, the chocolate cookies and cream. I could just dunk this in the milk. Mmm. -hmm. Crunchy. Soft. Good cookie. It's just fresh. Um, it created like a cookie and cream frosting. <laughs> and this would be amazing. This is that nice like chocolate cookie with the um the Oreos, and then you get the white chocolate chips. It's good, but it's still spicy. So you, what's your favorite one this week? The, the sea salt caramel cheesecake, or whatever it's called. Salted caramel cheesecake. You, what's your favorite one this Wait, week? Wait, what? Oh, okay. Um, my favorite is the salted caramel. All right, thanks, boys. Thank you. After much deliberation, we have come up with the top five, and there was a lot of deliberation. So, coming in at number five, surprise! The sea salt caramel cheesecake cookie. I, I'm just Would drawing. you like to field this one? I'm very sad. Um, like <laughs> I love salted caramel. It's probably my favorite. That's why we went and bought two this week because I figured that one was a home run. And boy, was that a foul ball. That, that is all your cookie. That, that is awful, sad, and just... I, I'm. See, now I wish you would have bought this the number one one twice. Yes, crumble. Please redeem your salted caramel. Let's let's get rid of the caramel cubes that you use to melt because they're awful. I, I'm sure there's someone out there that likes that kind of chewy caramel, but it's awful. I, I'm I'm depressed. I'm sad. Moving on. Number four was this wasn't my pick, but well, the it was. Boston cream pie. The topping is great. The, the little pie cream. underneath. Needs more flavor. It's just too bland. I don't know what you're looking for. It's just a pie crust. It's supposed to be not very. No, it's I, not supposed to be rocking with flavor. I mean, well, if it says vanilla, I should taste vanilla. It tastes bland. It it's like plain. You, you know, whenever I go to a donut store, there will never be a time that I just say, "Give me the plain no, original." No, not never. But there are people that do like them, and they usually dip them in coffee. But I ain't dipping it in coffee. This is, that was just... Well, for those of you that like coffee and donuts, maybe you should dip this one in coffee. <laughs> It'll melt away. Uh, coming in at number three, surprise! The confetti cake cookie. The, the cookie was really good. The icing helped it. Um, the little doodads on top do nothing for it, but the cookie was good. It was really good. Sprinkles is what we call them. Doodads. Little jimmies. A whole bunch of things. But... Overall, it wasn't bad. Coming in number two. The cookie, the chocolate cookies and cream. That's a lot of C's. Yeah. The chocolate cookie. cookies and cream. 
That is how you make that was a cookie. amazing. That's how you make that was cookie. amazing. I loved that cookie. That one was what I wish you would have gotten two on. Yes, and now I am sad and I know they don't have a crumble buyback policy because I'd be like, this cookie not good. I want that cookie. Um, the Oreos on top, the white chocolate chips. <coughs> I mean, it it looks like a yummy cookie. It makes you want to eat the cookie. Yeah, it, so that's a great cookie. It's amazing. I mean, I love cookies and cream stuff, so that was right up my alley. That was good stuff. And last number one, you could probably tell was the chocolate Swiss roll. It, just, it was, By far, there was nothing wrong with that cookie. No, that, that, was, that, was that was one I could have had two of in the box <laughs> too. That that's one of those ones where it totally delivers on what its name is. It's a chocolate Swiss roll, and it did better. It it underpromised and it overdelivered. Unlike the salted caramel, which promised so much and then just went. You're never going to let it go. Poop in a bag. I mean, it was not good. I don't think it was that bad. Oh, it was awful. And I love salted caramel. I, that one, I, it's a travesty. My heart's broken. Okay. So, for those of you that do love graham crackers and um, cheesecake, here's my idea. Just The salted caramel is so easy, you can just take it off. And then guess what? You have a graham cracker cheesecake cookie. Bada bing. Problem solved. If I want the honey flavored Teddy Grahams, then I'll go and buy a honey flavored Teddy Graham. But this isn't a cookie. It's even better for you. So eh. There's ways around things. To each so their own. I wouldn't have said that much, though. No, but it's all right. Crumble, the, I'd say three and a half. The chocolate cookies half, rocked this week. Yeah, three and a half out of five were really good this week. But fix that salted caramel. I know you can do better than that. We forgot to update you on if, it, if any of the cookies made the list. So, definitely not salted caramel cheesecake. Now, mind you, we do have one on our list, which is number 21 overall. And I remember that one did not have this kind of caramel. So, crumble whatever you did to change that recipe. Change it back. Because that is not cool. Um, but we did have two make this list. So Which that one on our list is number 21. Yeah, so chocolate so... cookies and cream... Came in at number 23. So, it is compared to the original salted caramel, so it, it, it's good. But the chocolate Swiss roll, man, that was great. That came in number 12. So, overall, good. And mind good you, a lot of cookies week. have fallen through and have disappeared from the list. So. Yep. And, hey, next week, we're going to have uh, probably, I think, several new flavors. I think we have some new old every week. Some old returning flavors. Some mystery flavors. We will see. All right, that does it for this week. So overall, pretty good cookies, right? Uh -huh. Yep, yummy. That's that chocolate. Yep. Now just remember, if you're out there and you want to wish some luck to these two in their championship game for football, let's Which, do it. Which, by the way, we made it through the playoffs. We beat our team. So they are going to the championship game, which for those that don't know much about football, that would be like their Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. So um, We already discussed this on the intro. Uh, well, it's okay. Late to the party. It works, but you two, let's rock and have a great week. A lot of good so, practice. be wishing us some prayers and sending us some good vibes, and hopefully these two will have some good information to share next Monday. Let's hope. But for us in the cookies, Ben, Mayor, Donna. See you next time. Bye. Bye.